Historical miniseries are like a halfway point between a historical TV series and a historical movie, as they are often a couple of episodes in length and allow the world building and character development to be better explored than a historical movie, but not necessarily as well as a multi-season historical TV show. And the purpose of this list is to give you my recommendations of 5 excellent historical miniseries that I think most viewers of this channel will not have seen yet. But before we begin, don't forget if you love anything to do with historical TV shows or historical movies, then subscribe to my channel History Spark. At number 5, it is The Red Tent, a historical biblical TV show based off the Red Tent novel by Anita Demont. This miniseries tells the story of Delilah who was a minor character mentioned in the Bible as she is the daughter of Jacob and the sister of Joseph. This TV series is unique as the plot is shown through the viewpoint of the women in Jacob's camp and tries to give a realistic representation of what life must have been like for women during this ancient time period. The plot is also very engaging and follows the basic outline of the book of Genesis well enough. If you're looking for a historical miniseries that respects its origins but is also easily accessible to people of all faiths, then The Red Tent is my recommendation for you. At number 4 we have the Golden Globe award winning miniseries Wolf Hall, which is a fictional biography on Thomas Cromwell and shows his trajectory from being a poor working class member of society to becoming the right hand of King Henry VIII. As you would expect with an award winning TV show, the storyline and acting here is top tier and the show is fictional but most of the major events that occur are true as Thomas Cromwell was a key figure during the reign of King Henry and this show does a great job of bringing his contributions to life. Wolf Hall is a strong recommendation from me for anyone that would be interested in seeing a more historically accurate but slightly slower paced depiction of King Henry VIII's reign. And number 3 is the TV miniseries Tut about the Egyptian pharaoh Tutankhamun also known as King Tut. There is an engaging storyline about an interesting central character who is surrounded by political maneuvering by all those around him. Ben Kingsley is featured in this Egyptian historical show and he does a fantastic job of leading the cast alongside Avon Jogia. So if you're looking for a bloody, over the top, heavily fictionalized depiction of King Tut's life then Tut is the perfect show for you. And the second spot on this list goes to Masada, a historical miniseries based around the siege of Masada which occurred during 73 to 74 AD. This TV show primarily focuses around the 900 Jewish zealots that have locked themselves within the hilltop fortress of Masada and the 5000 legionary army led by General Cornelius Flavius Silva who is determined to win a victory for the Roman Empire. This miniseries has fantastic acting especially by Peter O'Toole and Peter Strauss and it does a great job of highlighting the complexities of the siege as well as fleshing out both armies as more than just religious zealots or simple legionaries. There is very little to not like about Masada and it is a historical miniseries that I cannot recommend highly enough to any fan of historical TV shows. And the top spot on this list goes to John Adams, a television miniseries based around the life of US President John Adams and the huge role he played in the formation of the United States. This TV series covers his life from 1770 to his death in 1826. The basic premise of the show is based off of the book John Adams by David McCollihue. The cast is led by Paul Giamonti as John Adams and Laura Linney as Abigail Adams and both of their performances are just amazing. There's literally nothing to dislike about this show. The acting, script, set pieces, pacing, everything is just perfectly done. But the only slight complaint I do have is with the overuse of handheld camera shots, which can be a bit jarring at times. But I feel like John Adams is a show that doesn't get the recognition it deserves and it is a miniseries you should try to watch as soon as possible. So lastly I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it please do like and share this video with others. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel History Spark then please do so as I post videos about historical TV shows and historical movies each and every week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.